It is raining here at Village. It is raining here at Village. Uh, Village, this is the last virtual chapel. It's the last week of school, uh, and it's raining on campus, which to me, it's kind of like a metaphor that the campus is sad that you're not here. But the cool thing is we've been able to connect uh, through this time anyway, and I'm so proud of what you guys have done and our teachers and our administration and everybody on campus. Um, we've done it. We've done it well. Um, and today's chapel is going to be special in that we are going to hear from your teachers and your people that want to say goodbye to you, want to say job well done. Um, so we're just going to hear a sequence of their videos that they submitted um, to say hello, goodbye, and whatever else they're going to say. You, you'll be able to hear it in just a moment. Um, but thank you for tuning in to these virtual chapels. Um, and there's one verse that I want to leave with you. It's in Isaiah 55. And it says, just as the rain does not come from the heavens and return without producing crops, neither does my word come from my mouth and return empty, but it fulfills the promises which I have given to you. So let's get started with this virtual chapel. See you guys. Hi, Village Christian students. I wanted to speak to you today from here inside the Kendall Pavilion as a reminder of how we started out the year in chapel this year. I know that seems like a long time ago. In fact, I kind of think I might have had hair back then. But needless to say, we talked then about how last summer you guys had gone and done all these incredible things around the world. And I reminded you that no matter where you went, that God's love will find you. And now that we can't go anywhere, that we're stuck in our homes, we're not able even to come to school, I still want to remind you that God's love will find you no matter what. So wherever you are emotionally, wherever you are spiritually right now, wherever you are physically, God's love will find you. Listen to this verse. It's Romans 8, 35 through 38. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardships or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or the sword or even the coronavirus? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights nor depths, nor anything else in all creation will separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So remember that. I also wanted to tell you that your sacrifice by staying home these last couple of months has allowed our community to be spared from the worst part of this virus. Your sacrifices literally save lives. The virus has not spread nearly as badly here in our community as it has in places like New York City. And as you have done that sacrifice, you have walked in the same footsteps of Jesus who sacrificed for each one of us. Here's what he said to his disciples in John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, that they would lay down their life for your friends. So you guys haven't had to lay down your life, but you have laid down the last two and a half months of your school year. And that sacrifice for your grandparents, your neighbors, your families has made a tremendous difference. And I want you to know that not only do we, but your Father in Heaven thanks you for your sacrifice. And then finally, I wanted to tell you this as well. By staying engaged in your learning through the last couple of months as we've gone online, you have created a huge competitive advantage for you versus all of your peers as it comes to things like college applications and being ready for your career. Most researchers have said that there's gonna be an education gap from the last couple of months because most of the schools weren't quick to go online, did not find ways to engage their students, and their students basically stopped learning. That's not the case for you guys. You guys have engaged, you've kept learning, you've kept progressing, and the reward for you is gonna be that you have an advantage for the rest of your academic career, as well as you head into the career world. So know how proud we are of you, know how proud our Father in Heaven is of you, and know that no matter what, God's love will find you. Well, be prepared to have a great summer. It's gonna be unlike any other summer we've had before, but we can't wait to see you guys in the fall. Hey everyone, I have really missed all of you guys and I've re missed the relationships that we have and 
Uh, I want to encourage you to take it day by day until we get back to some type of the new normal. And uh, just remember Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding, and in all your ways acknowledge Him, and He'll direct your paths. So hang on to that verse. Go day by day, and uh, I can't wait till we all get together again. All right? Thanks. Have a great summer. Hey, guys. Um... Miss Mandel here. I miss you guys so much. Uh, congratulations on successfully finishing the school year. Um, I know this was not what we were intending, um, but I can't wait until we can see you guys again. Congratulations to the seniors on finishing. We will miss you so much. Um, I know this is a season where there's probably been a lot of loneliness, but as it says in um, Deuteronomy, um, God will never leave you or forsake you. So take comfort in the fact that while we might feel alone, we are never truly alone and he always goes with us. Love you guys. Hello, Village Christian. It's Mr. Alvarez. Congratulations, class of 2020. And remember, Romans 8.1 says, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So no matter what happens, we can hold fast to that truth. So congratulations, all the students finishing strong, and I look forward to seeing you next year, and congrats to class of 2020. I'm so impressed by the way that all of you jumped into online school, and you tackled some really hard things. Uh, everything was new, everything was different, but because you succeeded there, you can do anything, and college and the working world are gonna be that much more easy for you because you've made it through this. What's up, Village family? Thanks so much for being a part of my first year at VCS. Uh, yes, it's been quite the roller coaster of a year for us all, but man, the Lord has still been doing some major things in a lot of lives, and it's been such a blessing to be a part. So thank you guys for being a part as well. Hi guys, it's Mrs. Finkel. Uh, I miss you all so much, especially my students, and I want you to know that one of the hardest things about COVID has been that I feel robbed of spending time with you this school year. Um, I really miss you. I miss being present with you in the classroom. I miss laughing with you. I miss talking about the Bible with you and knowing what's going on in your lives. And my hope and my prayer is that I will get to see you again in real life, in the flesh, in the fall. And um, I guess one of the best things that I'm gonna take away from this whole experience in quarantine is that even though work and school often feels like something that we have to do, from now on, I know that it's something that I choose to do every day because you guys give me life and you give me so much joy. And um, I've really realized that during this time. So thank you, I miss you. I hope to see you on campus in the fall. And for seniors, God bless you on what, what's coming next. And I hope that we can keep in touch. Much love to everyone. Congratulations, everybody. Together we have forged new trails in uncertain times. Uncertain for us, for sure, but not for God. Um, you know, he knew about coronavirus even before it happened, and he has plans, like it says in Jeremiah 29 11, plans to give you a hope and a future. Stay strong. Hola mis estudiantes, muchas gracias por un año inolvidable. Estoy muy orgullosa de todos ustedes y ustedes son un regalo a todos sus maestros. Muchas gracias. What's up Village students? I miss you guys so much. I miss uh, the ASB students yelling at Miss G as I walk into the ASB room. I miss my crew students who literally come running to class with all their high energy and excitement for campus events. I miss my health students who actually enjoyed showing up for class, which felt pretty good. Um, and I just miss all the conversations I had um, with students throughout the day. The one-on-one -on -one talks just about life and the prayers and encouragement that we both shared for one another. I just miss being with you. All my students, um, I obviously got to do events with you, so I just, I miss you. I miss doing life with you. Um, village students, I love you. You hold a special place in my heart. Hey guys, Mrs. Santiana here, and I just wanted to say that I miss you guys so much, and that I'm just praying for you every day during this time. I know it's a bit of a challenge, and something that none of us could have ever expected, but if I could leave you with this word of encouragement, it's in the most challenging times, and the most trying times, that we see the most growth when we don't give up and when we keep on pursuing the right thing. So I'm praying for you guys. I hope you're all doing well, and hopefully I get to see you all soon. Hi Village students, I am making this video to let you guys know how much I appreciate you. I was on campus not too long ago, 
I went to my classroom to pick up some supplies and seeing my classroom empty, seeing B Hall without any noise just made me realize how much I truly miss you guys. I miss the good, I miss the bad. Um, I miss the noises in my classroom. Uh, I even miss the occasional getting upset at students because their work isn't done. And it's because we were all together and we all got to see each other and we all got to be in each other's presence. And I miss that above all. I hope you're doing well. Just know how much we love you, how much we appreciate you. Uh, things are not easy right now, but we are here for you. Even when school is over, we're here for you if you want to reach out. Um, so just know how much I love you and miss you and cannot wait to see you again. In the book of 2 Corinthians, it says, This race isn't given to the swift or the strong, but to the one who endures to the end. And you made it. You guys did it and we're really proud of you. We love you and hope you have an amazing end of your year. Hi, Village Christian Middle School, High School. This is Miss Stafford, and I just wanted to say that I miss you guys a lot. I miss seeing your faces. I miss hearing your voices. To the eighth graders who are leaving, I'm going to miss you guys so much, so much more than you guys ever know. To those of you that will be coming back next year, I hope that you stop by and see me when we can see each other safely again. To my sixth graders who I've gotten to know this year, I love you guys. You guys are so full of energy and you're just so much fun and I love talking to you guys. And a shout out to my sixth grade um, cabin group this year. We had so much fun. I miss having our lunches together every Thursday. To my former students in high school, I miss seeing you guys walk the hallways. I miss hearing you guys um, say hi to me. I miss hearing you guys stop by. Um, I love it when I get that one student who logs in for my office hours um, because I finally get to see your faces and hear your voices and um, it just makes my heart so happy and it makes my day so much better. Um, I hope that all of you are healthy and safe at home and um, yeah, I just, I miss you guys. All right, take care. Hi everybody, members of the class of 2020, this is Mr. Corey. And if you'll permit me to add to the many messages that I'm sure you're going to hear this graduation season, this is what's on my mind and in my heart. And I had to write it down because I wanted to make sure I got it right. So I believe that we, each of us, is comprised of a little bit of the people who surround us the most, you know, our personal circles. I also think that we're comprised a little bit of our, of our heroes. You know, the people whose, whose lives, whose actions, whose words we turn to the most. And I most importantly believe that um, we, we're comprised of God Almighty himself, that we are, of course, created in his image and likeness, which means, and this is the important part, we have this unbound potential to, as Jesus said, move mountains. And I want you to know that your teachers... We see this potential in you, potential you may not even see in yourself yet, but we know, we know that you are great works of art. We know that you are instruments of human progress, and we cannot wait to see how God uses you in this world. We'll be watching, we'll be praying, and God bless you all. Good morning, village students. I'd like to share a scripture and a picture to demonstrate what that scripture means. Cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 55, 22. And here's the image that very well represents that. I hope you can all see it's a camel and his master. So the camel gets down on his knees every morning and his master puts in on his back as much weight and load as he can sustain. But at the end of the day, the camel goes back down on his knees and his master removes all the load so that he, just like you, can rest. Just know your God is your rear guard. Love you. Hi guys, um, Mrs. Parker here, or Parky, or Mrs. P. Um, just wanna say congratulations. Um, what an end of the year we've had. Um, I want to share with you my lifetime verse. A lot of you know what it is. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. 
that you trust in the Lord with all, all your heart and lean not on your own understanding because (laughs) sometimes life doesn't make sense, but in all your ways to acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Guys, that's a promise. God bless you. Some of you know that I've gone through many struggles in my life, as have many of you. And I'm always grateful to know that I have a God that I can trust in who's going to provide for me and who's going to show me love and be with me no matter what. I know that we can't always see God, but we can see the evidences of God in his creation, in people around us, and possibly teachers and friends, parents and grandparents, whoever is important in your life. And... I hope that you have had the chance to experience God through his creation and through those who love you. A verse that I've been praying throughout this pandemic and I've put on my wall is Isaiah 26, 3-4. God will keep in perfect peace all who trust in him, all whose thoughts are fixed on him. Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Hi, Village Student Body. My name is Jean Wirtz. I teach orchestra, middle school and high school. I miss my students. Um, I miss seeing all of you on campus too. I'd like to share a verse with you, one that's been really meaningful to me these last few weeks. It's Joshua 1.9. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I hope you have a wonderful summer and you get some relaxation time in. Thanks. Love you guys. Hello, Village family. I wanted to uh, let you all know that it's been an amazing year working with you all. And I'm going to miss you terribly. And I know that God will bless you on your next adventure, whatever it might be. Just keep your eyes on Christ and he will take you to amazing places. And as I start my new adventure, I wanted to leave you with a blessing from number six. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Blessings. Hey Village, Uh, as I reflect on this year and as I reflect on moving forward, I think about what it's going to mean for the church and for Christians to really shine in this age and to really take hold of what it means to be Christians. And I think of Philippians 2. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look out not only for their own interests, but also for the interests of others. Have this mind amongst yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. I pray that we are going to be people who truly embody the story of Jesus and who take serious the call to be like him. Well, Village, this is it. This is our last virtual chapel of the school year. We have been so honored um, to just encourage you and just hear the word of God and to share with you all what God has put on our hearts, what God has put on some of the students' hearts. My prayer is that you have been just encouraged and been blessed by the messages from your teachers and from all of just the village family. I know for some of you, we'll see you in the fall. For some of you, this is your last ride with village and just know that you are loved know that you are not by yourself you are not alone in this you always have a family and i think that's the beautiful thing about just the christian faith it's the community that we build so i love you all even those of you i've never met before i love you and i pray that you would continue to just enjoy your summer continue to stand strong persevere um continue to just keep the faith 
keep yourself anchored in hope keep yourself anchored in love and keep yourself anchored in god so let's close our eyes and bow our heads and let's close this bad boy out in prayer dear lord thank you god so much lord thank you for giving us an amazing year god even when things started going a little crazy for us and things were just so uncertain god you just continue to work things out for us lord and so we thank you for that lord god thank you for the relationships that have been built over the years over this particular year lord god thank you for this community of just a family god i pray lord for every single person who may be ending their time at village i pray that you would give them direct that you would give them guidance and that you would just continue to to develop the relationships that they've established lord i pray that they know that this is not a, a final goodbye this is just a see you later this is our time will be spent differently together and you have some great things in store for them lord god i pray that you would just order their steps god i pray that everything that they've learned from this place even if from kindergarten to seniors, even to just staff who this may be their last year at Village as well. I pray God that you would keep those things in their hearts and that they will walk, walk in life remembering that you have shown them so much and you have developed them and you have molded them for such a time as this, Lord God. I pray for every single student, Lord, who's fought this fight of being online, God. I pray that you would just get, help them to have joy, help them to be so proud of themselves, Lord God, for what they've overcome. I pray for every teacher, every administrator, every faculty, every parent, Lord God. I pray, God, that you would help us to see your goodness, God, during this time, Lord. And although this is our last virtual chapel lord god this is not our last time together and so we are just thankful for that lord we're thankful god that you have the world in your hands and you know the story even though we can't see everything so i love you lord and i honor you and i'm i'm so honored and so privileged that you chose me you chose us lord and so we love you for that god and we are forever grateful god help us to just continue to be the family that you've destined us to be help village continue to be a place that just models and is an example to the world of what real love is what true love is and what it looks like to trust you and to reflect you in all that we do so we love you lord and we declare that all of these things are done in jesus mighty name amen